Hey everybody, it's Andrew here, uh, back with another episode of Breath of the Wild. Uh, before we get started in exploring this absolutely gorgeous Zora's Domain, I do want to let you guys know something. I've seen a few comments where people have given me hints and tips about things. Um, I do appreciate that, and I don't mind it at all. But do keep in mind, I record these episodes like a week in advance, so a lot of stuff you're giving me tips and tricks on is stuff that I've probably already done by the time I've read them. So just a heads up. I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. You're not spoiling anything because I've beat this game several times. But uh, let's uh, let's get let's go ahead and get this started. Huh? What is it, Master Link? I is it truly you, the Hylian Champion? It's me, Rivon. We used to swim together when I was but a child. Remember? That sounds familiar. Well, it has been one hundred years since then. And now I'm over 130 years old. I must say, you've aged well for a Hylian. Unbelievably well. Now that I think about it, shouldn't you be dead? Sorry, that may be too personal of a question. <clears throat> Father, we are on guard duty right now. All right, sorry. The leader of the pack, Baz, the heroine Gaddison, and my father, Trello, Trello, they have all aged quite a bit, I'm afraid, but they are all doing well. Oh, but Master Link, you probably shouldn't speak to the elderly. We got some ageism going on here. I need an adult. Uh, this guy's uh, ageism is bad. Oops, sorry for speaking you too long. You have business in the throne room, right? Please proceed there at your earliest convenience. Yeah, we're going to take our time doing that. What the heck are you doing? Oh, it's you. We met at Zora River. It's me, Leto. Thank you for coming so quickly. But enough about me. Can I possibly ask you to go meet with King Dorfin? He's in the throne room. Please go ahead. Yeah, well, in due time, in due time. What a beautiful statue. Hello. Are you a Hylian? Oh, here are my manners. I'm LaFlat. I'm chief secretary for the royal family. Are you curious about the statue of Lady Mipha? If you do not mind, please allow me to explain. This is the statue of the former Zora champion. Her name is Lady Mipha. She was as kind as she was beautiful. They say her ability to heal wounded soldiers was beyond compare. Those soldiers she healed. They are old and decrepit now, but they remember. For this reason, the elders of the Domain all love Lady Mipha dearly. If you would like to know more, I suggest you try talking to one of them. Alright, we've got a shop here. Got ice arrows. Here we can get a picture. Of course, we got our regular arrows. Rock salt. These are new. Some swift violets. They grow on the side of mountains and cliffs. Get some Hylian rice. Chillfin trout. That's new as well. Sizzlefin trout. Sizzlefin. Uh, resistance. Cold resistance. I actually forgot what that did. Chillfin. Chillfin. Chillfin? Trout? <laughs> That's heat resistance. Uh, good, um, freaking, what is that? It's a Goron. Hey, you're a Hylian, aren't you? It's rare to see your kind around here. As for me, I was roaming nearby during my travels when Prince Sidon recruited me and brought me here. That's because I can touch shock arrows, but I also weigh, well, a lot. There's no way I'll be able to carry you on my back. That's what Prince Sidon said to me. That was kind of rude of him, wasn't it? Okay. So the Hylian who stole Lady Mipha away thinks he can just come wandering in here like nothing happened. What business do you hear here after all these years? The Weapons Workshop. Trident Maintenance. 
So he wasn't very pleased to see me. He was not happy at all. Anyways, let's uh, head down here. We've got a picture of the Link Lotus scene already, right? Yeah. It's the Niaz Yomish run. That's new. Got a bright eyed crab. Man, I could go for some crab cakes. And we've gotten one of the. No, we have not gotten one of these before. This is a pretty decent and very cool looking weapon. I can't pick it up. Uh, drop this, keep that. Alright, let's do this shrine. Pushing power. So you know, here we got like this giant like waterfall type thing. We got all these balls coming at us. You see we got a Oh no 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 that's what I get for not paying attention. Let's try to explain things. We got a place for a ball up there. There's a treasure chest. There's the ball. Eventually these things will stop rolling. God dang it! All right, I've never died in here before, and I, I, I let's play curse. Let's play curse. This is old as time itself, but eventually these balls will all end up getting stuck, and they'll stop rolling down here, and they'll become less of an issue. We'll just make our way to the top, and hopefully we don't get knocked back. Ah! Damn it! All right, before I take care of this ball, um, let's get up here. Because you saw that treasure. I want to grab that first. <clears throat> and it was a weapon. Okay, so basically, you want to get this ball down there and into that little hole thing. There's many different ways I've seen people do this. Okay, first off, you want to get that down here. And then put you there. Let's stop it. Crap. Crap. And we're going to be repeating this because I'm ass. I'm ass. I'm ass. That did not go well at all. That actually was just ass. Yes, thank you. Thank you, you jerk. All right, am I going to be able to reach this from around here? Yeah, kind of. All right, then I'll let you come down. Let's switch over to stasis. Oh, whoo! Um, let's use... It gave us the Zora Spear, so... I think that's the idea. This might not be good. That should be good enough. Alright, that's fine. That, I can live with that. I can live with that. Alright, uh, we just have to wait. Um, this is actually not as good as... Can I, like, kind of just... Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, Link? That actually might be enough right there. And... Come on, there we go. We got it. We did it. And I think that chest... I think it's only... I think it's the one chest. Yeah, just the one. Yeah, that's not too hard. I just screwed up that first attempt. How many orbs are we? What is it? Five? We have five. Do we have? Oh, we turned those ones in. I am hungry. I just got a craving for waffles. We now have our fast travel back here. We talk to you. Um, let's see. We come over here. We got we got our inn. We got a cooking pot if we need it. What do you say? Hello, welcome to the Seabed Inn. Here we... Could it be? Lenny? Is it? It is. It's Lenny. Yes, I'm sure of it. You're Lenny. Wow, it's been such a long time. But wait, I thought you and Mifa... 
fell to Calamity Ganon. And if you've been alive all this time, where have you been? What have you been doing? Please tell me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm an adult, and yet here I am making a ruckus. Has it really been a hundred years? In a way, it feels like yesterday. We've both been through a lot, I'm sure. If you don't mind, I'd love to catch up sometime soon. So a lot of these Zoras recognize us, surprisingly. They seem to have longer lifespans. I love this music. What are you doing? Kya! Kya! Uh, uh, Lady Mifa, watch this. I second the aptly named Demon Sergeant. Shall strike down the divine beast Varuta. What you doing? You, you're lame. Frankly, I can avenge Lady Mifa. It has been one hundred years since you last showed your your face here. Now I, Sagan, will cut you down myself. Playing dumb, eh? Nice try, but you cannot fool me, Champion Link. You were unable to protect Lady Mifa from Calabany Ganon. It has been a hundred years since we lost her. Poor Lady Mifa, how heartbreaking. <laughs> There's no way we could ask for your help now after all this time and after all this has happened. So says I, second the Demon Sergeant. Even if this body of mine is destroyed, I will drown Ruta and shock arrows myself, and in doing so, Lady Mipha's regrets shall be alleviated. If you understand anything of courage, then you get out of my way at once. You can actually... nab. Ah. Yeah, he just says more trouble. Kind of just wanders off. Okay, what do we got over here? This is where they sleep. Uh, sneaky river snails kind of laying around. Well, well, it's always nice to have a visitor here. Thank you for journeying to our fair Zora's domain. Wait a moment. You, you're Link. The perpetrator who forced Lady Mipha to join his crusade 100 years ago only to be destroyed by Calamity Ganon. As though I could never forget that face. You should know that the elderly here who love Lady Milf Mipha still remember, and they still resent you. I, however, resent the deed, and not the person. I also believe in allowing the mistakes of the past to wash away. Link, I have retired from my role as a priest. I am now living my life free from the material concerns of this world. However... Ever since I retired, each day is more boring than the last. Spending day after day in idleness, only to pass from this world soon. Link, as I'm sure you are well aware, the afterlife lays claim to all. We never know when it will beckon. If during your travels you meet any engaged couples, I would like you to introduce them to me. Joining two souls is a true honor, one I shall stake my life on. Just one more wedding, and I shall be fulfilled. Interesting. Yeah, you can see him sleeping. This girl is dreaming about Prince Sidon. As is apparently half the internet. Is it Divine Va Beast, the Divine Beast Varuda's fault, or is it my own fault? Frank. What a name. Um, I'm not going to talk to this guy yet. There's really no point, but that's I, I alluded to uh, uh, that long side quest that we're going to be doing, and he's the one that you're going to be doing it with. He initiates it. We got a got a statue right here. If you got enough orbs, you can go ahead and take advantage of that. Hello and welcome. Zora's domain is currently searching for a Hylian like you. That said, this Hylian, I get the feeling I've seen him before. Perhaps a long time ago. Let's go ahead and head on up here. And you are large. Ah, you must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here, correct? 
You did well to come all the way here. I am King Dorfin, ruler of the Zora. Hmm, that object upon your waist. Is that not a Sheikah slate? Hmm, now that I have gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. You are the Hylian champion, Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian champion? You can't mean the Link. That champion? So that's where I have heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. I cannot believe it. The Hylian champion, Link, has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I had heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary. Come again. You say you have lost your memory. But surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mipha. Yes? You, you do, do you not? I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mipha as well? You and Mipha were so close, yet you do not remember her. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mipha's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. I dearly hope so. Father, I do not believe disgusting my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Oh, yes, of course. But first it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. This is quite a feat, my boy. Oh, <laughs> that is a good one. Link. I doubt that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. I shall do the, you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? What? <clears throat> King Dorfin, my liege? Please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help, why the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zoras and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that is not the least of it. It is their fault that Lady Mipha was lost to us. Link. Divine Beast of Aruta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water, and air are as one. As you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts as soon it will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. 
their Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Hmm, the divine beast is crying out once again. The Divine Beast Varuta, your Princess Zelda often studied the Divine Beasts, that is in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it regenerates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Sagan, who is quite shock-resistant for Zora, hits one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once the water soon returned to its full force. That is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. Link. I am certain you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within. So then, Princess Zelda is still alive? See, Link talks. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of a hundred years cannot be altered, it is true. But if we can regain control of the divine beasts, there may be proof useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. I do not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. Wondrous! Naturally, I shall help, too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link. Let us appease Ruta together. Thank you, Link. Truly we are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Oh yeah, new clothes. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like a Zora. Please take good care of it. King Jorafen, surely you do not intend to give the outsider the Zora armor. Countless generations of Zora princesses have only gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mipha made that one there with her own hands. It is very important to entrust to. It is far too important to entrust to a shady alien. He may be a champion, but Mipha had no rela such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? There is too much. It's just too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Mm. That Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter, Mipha. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Highlands. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. Mm, but what shall we do now? I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows we need to appease to Varuta. But now he has rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Sardan, I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Alright, so we got our main quest objective updated.
came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Listen well, Muzu, there is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one with whom my sister, Mipha, had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. What? No. You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie. Not this, Zora. How could Lady Mipha possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mipha's statue. It is the truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mipha's heart. I was thinking, this reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child, always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know, perhaps we could spend some time together. What is the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm? You are quivering like a hatchling. Whatever is the matter? What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Hylian. There is no way you remembered her just now when it was most convenient. In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. If you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so, and, and I, I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. Have you truly not figured it out yet? Simply take a closer look at what Link is wearing. Hmm. You really think that changing our clothes is going to make me... Eh? What in the... That is the Zora armor from before. Lady Beaver made it by hand. And yet it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belonged to. And who she made this special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mipha made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mipha never told you. Now that you know, you must promise to help him save us all from say, help him save us all, Muzi. Please tell us where we find the shock arrows we need. 
Knowing you, I bet you have already figured it out. <clears throat> I would never have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian, but I suppose it is our only option at this point. I am a proud Zora. That means I must take responsibility for my unwanted behavior toward you. As I promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. Might already have them. A tall mountain over yonder. It is called Ploymus Mountain, and there you will find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. The awful beast shoots volley after volley up of shock arrows. Even a single one can be fatal to a Zora. Aha! You must mean that Lionel. He is a man-beast, that one. The beast does indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. He is vicious, to be sure. But I am certain Link will rise to the challenge. In order to appease the divine beast, it is estimated you will need, hmm, at least twenty shock arrows. Do you think you can gather that many? Why do you still doubt him, Muzu? I have no doubt he will be triumphant. Okay, Link, let's get moving. The fastest way to Pleomus and Ploymus Mountain is to ascend the waterfall east of the Domain. That Zora armor should come in handy. Just swim to the waterfall basin and then go up the waterfall from there. All the way to East Reservoir Lake. Right by the Divine Beast, at least 20... Gather at least 20 shock arrows and then come join me. Wonderful! Together we shall stop that Divine Beast's onslaught. So well, now we have been given some goals. We're not going to go directly there. There's There are other things that I want to do around here real quick. Uh, let's head back up to the next level here. Not been a lot of gameplay this episode. Lots of... Uh, lots of, you know, dialogue. So apologies for that. Uh, okay, LaFlat should have her little... Thing ready for us. Yeah. Oh, you are Link, right? Prince Sidon ran off through the eastern gate. He was shouting something like, I'm off to stop the Divine Beast. Link the Hylian is coming with me. I assume that means you're going to Plymouth Mountain in search of shock arrows. If so, I have a request that is somewhat related. There's a red-maned monster called a Lionel that lives on Ploymus Mountain. I really need a picture of a Lionel. It can be a picture of any red-maned Lionel, not just the one on the mountain. So what do you say? Can you get me a picture of a Lionel? I'm glad that was settled so quickly. So there's this fool in the domain who goads people into jumping off of Shatterback Point on Ploymus Mountain. It's an incredibly dangerous jump, and this guy pressures people in jumping off by questioning their courage. He's a real bottom feeder. If this guy, if this keeps up, someone is surely going to wind up horribly injured. I need a picture of a Lionel to show everyone how scary they are. That way, many people will stop going up there. Does that answer your question, Link? I'll leave the details to you. Just bring me a picture of a Lionel so I can describe them in terrible detail. Thank you. Does... The one I have in my compendium count? No. Apparently not. Okay, so we got to get a picture of a Lionel for her. And you're going to want to do that side quest. Trust me, she gives you something pretty good. We've got this fella. We've seen him before. This is Groove again. Oh, you. Hi. It's me. I'm the one Prince Sidon left at the top of the tower. The name's Groove. In the end, I wasn't able to join up with Prince Sidon. Instead, I worked on some fighting spirit and jumped into Zora River from the top of the tower. Then I came back here. I was deeply moved seeing my reflection on the water's surface as I dove in. Yes, deeply moved. It is my observation that a person's true colors shine the brightest when they dive freely into the waves. Congratulations on the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Wearing the Zora armor, even a Hylian like you can climb a waterfall and get back up here in no time at all. That said, 
If you don't mind me asking, would you please show me your true colors as you dive into the water? You can dive head first from here into the water below. You would be truly... <clears throat> Excuse me. It would be truly beauty made flesh. Please consider. Blind, blinding brightness. Radiant beauty. <clears throat> okay, now climb the waterfall and then meet me back here. So basically, this is like a tutorial showing you how to use, how to do this. Pretty simple. Fantastic. Can you feel that? My soul is on fire. It's pulsating with beauty. You showed me something truly special. Thank you so much. Now then, come over here quick. That was amazing. I saw your dive and waterfall climb with my own lucky eyes. And now those very eyes are flooded with tears of joy. Yes, I must thank you somehow. That's kind of a crappy prize, honestly. Oh, I feel emotionally ravaged after that. It's not every day I get to see a diving form as beautiful as yours, you know. I'll be looking forward to your next dive. I really will. I feel like all these Zoras have a thing for me or something. Uh, you... Is your thing... Okay, you're not unlocked yet. Some of the side quests in this area don't get unlocked right away. He'll be important later. We talked to him earlier. Uh, what are you doing? You're just standing around staring into nothingness. I see crab. I got a crab. What are those? Oh. Chicolo tree nuts. Okay. Another random crab. think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. In the next one, we're going to do a few things. I'm going to do a couple things before I head to the Lionel. Yes, we got another line. Oh, wait, real quick before, what is the shock arrow situation? We are literally one off. Um, so that's going to make that easier. Um, so anyways, we've got to go fight this Lionel. Let's just jump off the side, why don't we? <laughs> and we're going to do a couple things beforehand. Yeah, so we're getting close to our first Divine Beast. Might reach that next episode, don't know yet. We'll find out in the next one.